So this is Roberto and this is the HVAC in my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the U value, R value, K value, UA value. All right. So let's get into it. So to begin with, we're going to start with the following. So the equation for heat transfer calculation, the technical equation. So from science, what it comes is from the Fourier's law. Okay. So what we technically use for heat load calculation is the following equation as we uh, so if we did in other videos okay so q equals to the u value okay u value okay times area times td temperature difference all right so that's pretty much the technical equation to calculate heat load calculations as long as we have the u value that comes from construction and we have the exposed area we have the temperature difference indoor outdoor temperatures we're going to be able to calculate the heat load and in the future we're going to make a calculation of a full complete heat load okay but now also in this video we will talk about the units because at times the units are confusing and overestimated but it's they are very very important the units are very important okay so the u value comes from here and in order to know the units of course we understand that the units of q is heat transfer which means btus divided by hour and that's where the confusion comes because in other programs in for example rights of elite in rights of for example they use btus times hour they write it like this, BTUs hour. And at times, I would think that this would be BTUs times hour, but it's not. It is BTUs divided by hour. So that's why I'm doing this video, and this is going to be equal to the U value. Let's put this in red. Let's put this in white. How about that? So the U value, okay, the U value. And then the units of area in the IP system English is going to be square feet and the temperature difference is going to be Fahrenheit. It's going to be Fahrenheit minus Fahrenheit and that's going to give me Fahrenheit, all right? So in other words, what would be the units of the U value? We're going to put that in white right here. So the U value, okay, equals two. And also this u value is also called at times u factor okay so that's going to be btus divided by hour times the square feet times fahrenheit okay so those those, those would be the and we're going to put this in pink okay so here we go these are the units of u value these are the units of u-value, okay? And also the u-value has another name, or we can always uh, refer to the u-value as thermal transmittance, okay? Thermal transmittance, transmittance. So the u-value is part of building sciences, and whenever we're making a design of a heat load calculation, we need to know these numbers. These numbers are already provided, depending on the material, depending on the wall, depending on the insulation. This will be already a given, so we don't have to do that calculation. But we can, but it, this is already selected, okay? That's the, that's the u-value. So what would be the r-value? And also the R value, let's put R value, is going to be the resistance. And technically, this is the opposite of the transmittance, which is going to be 1 divided is the reciprocal of the U value. Okay? So if it's the reciprocal of the U value, then what we're going to do in here is R value. See, R value is going to be equal to the unit of the same units of the u value but this is upside down hour times square feet times fahrenheit divided by btus okay so those are the units of our value and then we're going to put that in pink pink here we go our value and our value is also very important because 
anytime that we're designing a house, they give they provide with the insulation. So the R value could be the wall is R15, R22, depending on how well insulated is the house. And this is also called thermal. Everything is with thermal, right? Okay, thermal resistance. Okay, resistance. Okay, so now we go to the next point. The next point is actually the K value, which is conductivity. Okay, so we have R value. Let's put in here number one. See, it's R value. Number two is resistance, which is R value. Number one is U value or U factor two. And then number three is going to be the K value or thermal conductivity. Let's put K value, but they don't put it as a K value. They just put it as K. Okay. Thermal conductivity is going to be equal. So in other videos, we saw that this is going to be equal and it comes from the Fourier equation, right? So the U value is going to be, uh, this is going to be equal to the U value times the length of the wall, the thickness. So in other words, if we have a wall like this, okay, this is temperature one, this is temperature two, and this is the thickness, and the heat goes like that way, see, the Q goes like that way. We're talking about this thickness. You can call it L, you can call it delta X, whichever you want. In this case, we're calling it L, we can call it delta X too, no problem. And the properties of this is also U value, okay? U value, okay? So that's the thermal conductance. See, the properties indicate that this is thermal conductivity. So it's not commonly referred as K value. So we're just gonna put it like K. K is gonna be equal to the U value. And what's the U value? Uh, let's do it on the next screen. So yeah, let's put this as yellow. So there's gonna be U value. U value times L. Okay, so what is on the next screen? We're going to put this in here, K value. Okay, K equals to the following. Uh, what are the units of U value we already have in here? U value are going to be BTUs divided by uh, our square feet times Fahrenheit times length. The length or the thickness of the wall is going to be in feet. So fit goes with one fit. So then the K value is going to be equal to the following. K value equals to uh, BTUs, okay, BTUs divided by our fit, fit and then Fahrenheit, okay? So those are the units. And then we're going to put this like that. And that's number three. Okay, we have the units of K value. And what is K value? K value or K is technically thermal, thermal conductivity. Conductivity. Okay, property of. Now we can make these equations more, more complicated, but don't forget this is the HVAC easy math channel right so now let's continue with the with the last one the last one is another interesting uh combination it's the ua value let's put ua value is not technically called your value but this is technically used for energy performance okay so u value ua is actually you guessed it well u value times area, okay? So what are the units of UA? Let's put that in here, okay? UA equals to the following. What is the unit, what are the units of U value? The U value is, or U factor is our BTUs divided by H, this times this, and then what is the unit, what are the units of area? A square feet. Square feet, where the square feet goes away, and then we're going to put in here UA. So UA equals to BTUs 
divided by hour and Fahrenheit. And then we're going to put this as 4. All right. Uh, as 4. Okay. So what is the other name of UA? So UA is thermal conductance. Okay. Thermal conductance. Okay. We have to keep the color thermal conductance and where UA is applied actually UA is applied for energy compliance for energy compliance methods compliance methods methods and in residential they usually use it in the in rest check calculation residential check based on the Department of Energy. It's a software where you can assess that your house is energy efficient or not. Okay, so rest check for residential and also there is a com check for commercial. Okay, okay, so this is mostly prescriptive method. There is performance method and there is also another software called Ecotrop and this this of RAM rate and this 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 one these softwares are available online so they are free and totally no 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 problem at all so basically that's how they use UA all right so in this video the main purpose was to summarize and to have a document or a video where you can resort at any time where, where you're finding issues uh checking on the units okay so and also in the next videos we're going to be talking about um, how to do the calculations of your values our values but now we can always resort to this uh, back calculation all right so uh, don't forget to check the other videos because if you if you need more reference about this calculation see the calculation that we did in here you can check the other video where we explain the Fourier's law. Last part, we're going to put the Fourier's law as a reference. Everything's, everything comes from the Fourier's law of heat transfer, where it's like Q equals Q A delta T over delta X. Okay, everything comes from this equation everything four years law and these equations as i as i was mentioning it could get so complicated like uh, if we go deep into the mathematics we can make it as a tensor we can make it as a differential and everything but we are in this uh we're in the applications part where we are contractors or engineers so we're not going to do research about this we only need to apply what is more convenient for us which is if you want to do conductivity or science classes you can use this equation but if you are designing something if you are doing a heat law calculation you are you can apply this equation this is more practical technical and this is more uh, scientific and research all right all right i hope you enjoyed this video and then if you did hit the like button and subscribe and share all right thanks so much